Hi guys, and welcome back to Next Good Thing, a channel where I help you do stuff. Today, I'm, excuse you. Today, I'm gonna help you guys do something that I know a lot of people have trouble doing. Going to bed. The very first step of going to sleep is getting cozy. Now that means that if you're not the kind of person who puts on your pajamas or sweat the first thing when you get home, it's time to do that when you're starting to wind down and go to bed. But it's more than just pajamas. It's practicing fun, sort of indulgent parts of self-care. You could do a nice face mask or facial treatment right before you wanna go to sleep or you could brew yourself a nice cup of tea. Whatever it is that makes you feel really cozy and comfortable and like you got nothing on your mind. You need to treat yourself kindly when you're starting to wind down to go to sleep because it's a time of day that's entirely about you. You can't fall asleep if you're worrying about other people's problems. See, that was easy. Now it's time to move on to step two. Now that you're cozy, it's time to make your environment cozy. That means it's time to go into your bedroom and set the lights how you like. Get into bed and cuddle with your dog, or read a book, or listen to some relaxing music, or watch a show that you want to sort of fall asleep to. Or if you're the kind of person who can't sleep with any distractions at all, just put on a nice sleep mask and meditate and relax and use that time to think. This is also the step where you put your phone down. It's okay to have stimuli when you're trying to fall asleep, and it's even okay to use your phone to fall asleep if you like to listen to a podcast at night or you're using it to listen to music. But staring at the screen where you might receive an email notification or a text notification, it'll make you feel like you still need to be connected to the world. And that's not what bedtime is about. Bedtime is about you and treating yourself and feeling good. Step three is to do what you need to do to reduce your own anxiety. Some options include turning on do not disturb for texts and emails so that you're not worried about getting last minute emails or texts from people who might want something of you. Or if you're type A like me, you might use this time to jot down the next day's to-do list. That way it's on paper and you won't feel compelled to make lists of things to do in your head. You've made your list and now you don't have to think about it anymore. This is also the step where you set as many alarms as you need to make sure you get up the next day. For more information on that, please check out my how to get out of bed video. Ding! Now moving on to step four. Step four is to not worry about whether or not you can fall asleep. I know, that's easier said than done. But this is actually really important. Hammy, no, don't eat that. If you're laying in bed thinking, oh my god, I have such bad insomnia, I haven't been able to get to sleep at a normal hour for the past three nights, and what if I'm up till 3 a.m. again, and oh my gosh, what time is it now? All that's gonna do is keep your brain functioning at awake levels. Accept the fact that if you're a person who chronically has issues falling asleep, that's okay. You might not get to sleep at the hour that you want tonight. But that doesn't mean that you can't use this time to read a book that you like or feel relaxed and just take care of yourself. The worry will just keep you awake. Just enjoy that when you're in bed, it's time that you get to devote entirely to yourself. So you might as well enjoy it and make the most of it, even if you can't fall asleep. You will eventually fall asleep. You just have to create the best possible circumstances for sleep for yourself and then hope it happens, but don't stress about it. Finally, it's time for the bonus round. This week's bonus round is to create a nighttime routine or a schedule for yourself that you follow every night before you go to bed. Okay, no, don't. You want it? You want, oh, yes. That means every night, read a chapter of a book or drink a cup of tea before bed. And definitely, it means trying to get into bed at the same time every night. Even if the first time you try this, you can't seem to get to sleep, that's okay. Eventually, your mind and your body will start to associate these activities and this time of night with restfulness, and it will become a lot easier for you to fall asleep. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Please leave a note in the comments below about what kinds of things you want help doing. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I release new videos every Wednesday. And as always, I believe in you.